Coffee Culture, Exploring the World's Favorite Brew Coffee is a brewed drink prepared from roasted coffee beans, the seeds of berries from certain coffee species. It is one of the most popular drinks in the world, and it has a stimulating effect on humans primarily due to its caffeine content. Origin and History Coffee is believed to have originated in Ethiopia in the 9th century, where it was first used in Sufi religious ceremonies. It was later exported to Yemen, where it became a popular beverage. Coffee cultivation spread to other parts of the Middle East, North Africa, and Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries. Today, coffee is grown in over 70 countries around the world. Production Coffee beans are the seeds of berries from certain coffee species. The two most commonly cultivated coffee species are Coffea arabica and Coffea conifera. Arabica beans are generally considered to be of higher quality than Robusta beans. Coffee beans are roasted to develop their flavor and aroma. The roasting process can vary in terms of time and temperature, which affects the final flavor of the coffee. After roasting, the beans are ground and brewed in hot water to produce coffee. Varieties of coffee There are many different varieties of coffee, each with its own unique flavor and aroma. Some of the most popular varieties include 1. Arabica Arabica beans are known for their smooth, mild flavor. 2. Robusta Robusta beans have a stronger, more bitter flavor than Arabica beans. 3. Librica Librica beans are a rare variety of coffee with a smoky flavor. Health Effects Coffee has been shown to have a number of health benefits. For example, Coffee has been linked to a reduced risk of Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, and type 2 diabetes. However, coffee can also have negative health effects, such as anxiety, insomnia, and headaches. It is important to moderate coffee consumption to avoid these negative effects. Overall, coffee is a popular beverage that has been enjoyed for centuries. It has a number of health benefits and can be a delicious way to start your day. However, it is important to moderate coffee consumption to avoid negative health effects. Coffee preparation is the process of transforming coffee beans into a delicious brewed beverage. There are four main stages involved. 1. Roasting. Coffee beans are roasted to develop their flavor and aroma. Roasting time and temperature can significantly impact the final taste. Generally, lighter roasts are more acidic and subtle, while darker roasts have a bolder, more intense flavor. 2. Grinding. Once roasted, the beans are ground into a consistency suitable for the brewing method. Finer grinds are ideal for pour-over methods, while coarser grinds work well for French presses. The grind size affects how quickly water extracts flavor from the grounds, impacting the final strength and taste. 3. Brewing. This is where the magic happens. Hot water is mixed with coffee grounds using a specific method to extract flavor. There are numerous brewing methods, each with its own equipment and technique. Here are a few popular choices. Automatic drip. This is a convenient method that uses a machine with a built-in filter to automatically brew a pot of coffee. French press. Coffee grounds and hot water are steeped together in a carafe, then a plunger is used to separate the grounds from the brewed coffee. Pour over, hot water is slowly poured over coffee grounds in a filter cone placed on top of a carafe. This method offers more control over the brewing process for a flavorful cup. For separation, after brewing, the coffee needs to be separated from the used grounds. Paper filters discard the grounds entirely, while methods like the French press use a mesh filter that allows some fine particles through. Beyond these core steps, there's a whole world of coffee customization. You can adjust the coffee to water ratio for strength, experiment with different brewing temperatures, and explore various add-ins like milk, cream, sugar, or spices to create your perfect cup. Types of coffee There are two main ways to categorize coffee, by bean type and by drink type. Coffee by bean type 1. Arabica, the most popular coffee bean by far, Arabica is known for its smooth, well-balanced flavor with notes of fruit, sugar, and chocolate. 
Arabica beans are cultivated at high altitudes and require specific growing conditions, making them more expensive than Robusta beans. To Robusta, Robusta beans are known for their strong, bitter flavor and high caffeine content. They are easier to grow than Arabica beans and can tolerate lower altitudes and less ideal conditions. Robusta beans are often used in espresso blends and instant coffee. 3. Librica, a rare bean with a unique smoky flavor and woody aroma. Librica beans are difficult to cultivate and process, so they are not very common. Coffee by drink type. Coffee drinks can be broadly categorized into two groups, brewed coffee and espresso-based drinks. Brewed coffee. One drip coffee, the most common way to prepare coffee. Hot water is poured over coffee grounds in a filter, which allows the water to extract flavor from the grounds. Two French press, coffee grounds and hot water are steeped together in a carafe, then a plunger is used to separate the grounds from the brewed coffee. This method produces a full-bodied cup of coffee with a bit of sediment. Three pour over, hot water is slowly poured over coffee grounds in a filter cone placed on top of a carafe. This method offers more control over the brewing process for a flavorful cup. For cold brew, coffee grounds are steeped in cold water for 12 to 24 hours, resulting in a less acidic and smoother tasting coffee concentrate. Cold brew is often served diluted with water or milk. Espresso-based drinks. One espresso, a strong, concentrated coffee brewed by forcing hot water through finely ground coffee under high pressure. Espresso is the base for many other coffee drinks. Two latte, espresso with steamed milk and a thin layer of milk foam. Three cappuccino, espresso with equal parts steamed milk and milk foam. Four americano, espresso diluted with hot water to create a weaker and less intense coffee drink. Five mocha, espresso with steamed milk and chocolate flavoring, usually chocolate syrup or cocoa powder. Six macchiato, espresso with a small amount of steamed milk and a dollop of milk foam. These are just a few of the many types of coffee available. With so many options to choose from, there's a perfect cup of coffee out there for everyone. Uses of coffee. Coffee has several main uses, and they can be broken down into two categories, consumption and non-consumption uses. Consumption uses. One beverage, coffee is primarily enjoyed as a hot beverage. The stimulating effects of caffeine make it a popular choice to increase alertness and focus, especially in the morning. Many people find the taste and aroma of coffee enjoyable. Two health benefits, research suggests coffee may offer various health benefits when consumed in moderation. These include potentially lowering the risk of type 2 diabetes, Parkinson's disease, and Alzheimer's disease. It may also improve cognitive function and athletic performance. Non-consumption uses. One skin care, coffee grounds can be used as a physical exfoliant in scrubs or masks. The caffeine content may also help reduce puffiness around the eyes. Two compost, coffee grounds can be added to compost piles to enrich the soil. Three odor neutralizer, coffee grounds can absorb unwanted odors in the air. Placing a bowl of grounds in your refrigerator or near the garbage disposal can help eliminate unpleasant smells. For insect repellent, studies suggest that the smell of coffee may repel some insects, such as mosquitoes and flies. It's important to note that some non-consumption uses may have limited scientific evidence, and moderation is still key.